Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to replace your door logo welcome lights on your B8 Audi S5. So I'm not sure if those apply to um, the B8.5, so the generation from I think it's uh, 2011 to uh, later. <laughs> and so basically those, I'm not too sure how they work, just make sure that you have this little trim under. If you can play it apart with a screwdriver, that's perfect. You can take off the trim and it's basically just a plug and play. For all those who don't have an Audi S5 or any stock OEM door logo welcome lights, you can always get the ones I have for my Z. So basically they have a double-sided tape. You stick it on there. They have a magnet built in them. So it's really simple to use and it works pretty good. The only thing is you have to replace the AAA batteries that they offer with. So that's a little bit uh, annoying to change all the time, but it's, it, it usually lasts a couple of months before going out. So let's dive right in. All right, guys. So before we actually get into the video, I just wanted to show you what I was talking about earlier with the double-sided tape uh, universal welcome lights. So the thing is, those projectors are going to be very simple to install. They're going to go into any car. And so the red tape that you see is double-sided and you're going to have to stick it in the back of the projector and stick it onto your door at the bottom of the door and then the magnets that you see in each corners then you're gonna have to get the 3M, the white one that you see cut it so it fits the, um, the magnet and then stick it onto the lower door trim and then you should be good to go it's very simple, it should take 5 minutes on each side and triple A's battery and basically should be good to go so now let's get into the video alright guys, so like I said you only need a flat screwdriver to get this trim here where you see the light out towards the inside there is a trim that's made for the flathead to fit to pop it out so here like i showed you you be gentle and now it's out now you have to be very careful with it there we go all right easy enough there we go now disconnect it now like I've shown you guys, there's just that connection, you just plug in on the top part and you should be good to go. Alright, so here is the aftermarket and here is the OEM. So at the beginning I thought it didn't fit and I might lack a little bit of power, this is why it's not going to be that bright. Uh, those ones, the plugs at the bottom, the bigger ones, it doesn't fit. This is just for the small ones that are on top of it. I'm guessing it's because it, it is universal. So it probably fits with them, some other cars that have a bigger one. So I'm just going to put it back in play and simple enough. So I just noticed I was trying to put it in and this would just work like once in a while. So I thought there was a fake contact somewhere, which there is, it's here. You press on both sides and these uh, black and red wire, they just come out. So you make sure they are really tight in it and then it should be fine like this. And you're good to go. You just have to put this back and you're done. All right, so here's the before during the daylight, pretty bright, and here's the aftermarket one. A little bit less bright, but to be honest, as you can see now at night, I think that the oil one is a little bit plain, and I wanted something a bit more custom, more personalized, so with a bit of color. Um, yeah, I just think the aftermarket one is a lot sleeker. All right, so here's the aftermarket one. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.